Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have another fabulous sublimation tutorial for you. And if you like sublimation tutorials, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications that way you're always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But today guys, I'm going to help you with your marketing, maybe your business, your gifting, just depending on whatever your needs are. But guys, this is one you don't wanna miss. I'm going to show you how to create 3D mockups of your sublimation tumblers. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and you can partially consider this part two of our custom Tumblr tutorial, but what I'm going to show you today is a new tool that you may or may not know about and I'm gonna show you two awesome ways to use it. Now what this is, is it is the ability to create a mock-up of a tumbler that gives a 3D effect, okay? And what I mean by that is that a lot of times when you are attempting to market items like shirts, tote bags, those are flat items. So it's a lot easier to create mock-ups to market for your business or to show your customer to get their approval. Um, you know, a lot of times it's just easier to create those mock-ups rather than to create the items themselves for you know, just a whole slew of reasons. I love mock-ups. I'm a real big believer in mock-ups. My only little a sticking point with mockups is to make sure that you can create the items that you're advertising. So I don't say as a beginner, create all the mockups and show off things that you're not sure of yet. What I want you to do is consider mockups an addition to your crafting business or, you know, even sometimes gifts. Sometimes if you're making something for a gift, you want to get approval for it, right? But just as a way to show off your existing skills, not new things you want to try, okay? So that's all I'm going to say about that. But I showed you guys how to go step by step and create this really awesome custom photo tumbler tutorial. I may have been a little weepy during the tutorial, but I know you guys can overlook that. <laughs> just kidding. But um, you know, it is, these tumblers are really, really great. And I was just going on and on about, you know, how it is really awesome to make these custom tumblers and how you're going to have a really big market for them. If you are in the selling business, or you're at least going to put these on your Christmas to-do list. Um, I personally, am going to make one for myself because, you know, sometimes you just have to be the one to brag. I'm just saying, but all of that aside, what I want to show you today is a really easy way to market this. And that is with a Tumblr mock-up that shows it kind of, kind of, it shows your design and what it's going to look like on a representation on the Tumblr itself. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is my Tumblr design. I already have it imported. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and merge. And I am going to dun, 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 go to the skinny Tumblr mock-up. Now these mock-ups are um, designed for Christmas. Okay. They have a Christmas background and I am just going to go ahead and I know they look black, but I'm going to select one of these. I just selected B and you'll notice that the black is actually a subtracted area. So the first thing I want to do is turn my line color to transparent because nobody wants that. And then I am going to size this to be 12 inches wide. Usually these mock-ups are um, a four to three ratio. So 12 means that they are nine inches wide. I can reflect my page size for this. And there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you guys, but for right now, I'm just going to go to my page setup panel and type in 12 inches wide, nine inches high. And I'm going to turn off my print border because I do not need that anymore. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and center that to page. Now I know it looks a little wonky, but what I want to do is just size down my Tumblr design until it fits into those slotted areas to give a representation of what this is going to look like. And then of course I can center it. There we go. Now, if I zoom in, it gives me just a really good representation of what this tumbler is going to look like both on the left side, the middle and the right. And sometimes that's all you need. Like you don't need it to be, you know, this video of, of what the tumbler will look like. This is a really great representation to be able to advertise on your social media, to attach to your invoices for customer payment and approval, those sorts of things. 
Um, and it's so, so simple. And I told you I was going to show you two ways to use this because maybe you don't use Silhouette Studio and that's okay. I also want to show you how easy this is to use in Canva. So what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I would save this. Okay. I wouldn't send them, you know, the file as a studio file. I have Silhouette Studio Business Edition so I can save PNG files directly from my software. Okay. So what I want to do is I would just go, I, I'm in a bad habit. I save everything to my downloads folder and I can just say uh, photo Tumblr. If I can type today, mock up, save it as a PNG. I always try to do 300 DPI, but I'm going to tell you guys, Silhouette Studio saves insanely large PNG files. So it's completely up to you. Now, what I want to do for this guy here is I'm actually going to once again, change my page size so that it will be the size of the template that I'm using. Because when I import this into Canva, I want you guys to see what it's going to look like when you download this from the Creative Fabrica website. Okay. So I know my width is going to be 9.3 and my height is going to be 8.2. And then I can center that to page. Now I'm going to save this here. Okay. Now, if you are not creating a custom design in Silhouette Studio and you're using a ready-made design, then by all means, you can probably even just go ahead and import the template in your photos and do this all in Canva if Canva is what you're used to. But like I said, I just want to give you an alternative to creating those mockups because Canva creates some really awesome mockups. Now let's go ahead and head on over to the Canva website and in the Canva website, I'm just going to go to create design. Now this is assuming that I have not already set up this um, template for mockups. Okay. Because the great news is that once you import this mockup, you'll just be able to use it over and over again in Canva. So I'm going to change, I'm going to do a custom size. I'm going to go to inches and I'm going to do the same 12 by nine inches. So I'm just creating it the same size that I know that our mock-up image already is. And then I'm going to go to uploads, upload file, and then I can, I'm just going to select the same exact one. Now they have black and you know what, let's do the white. They have brown and they have white. And then of course these are going to be your mock-ups um, that aren't cut out to be transparent and that's okay too. So let's go ahead and this time, like I said, we'll, we'll do the white. Let's add that to our uh, work area, our design. Now, one hiccup in Canva is I don't want to make this, not yet, I don't want to make this exactly the size of the, well, I'll just show you. When I make it exactly the size of the uh, canvas area that we're working with, let's go ahead and go to upload, and I'm going to grab that template that we created, or rather that um, custom design that we created, and I bring that in, I can no longer, if I go to position, I can't send that behind my first image because um, basically Canva has said, okay, this must be a background image and I can no longer make this any larger or smaller. So go ahead and bring in your Tumblr image. You can get it centered and then bring in your design here and just don't make it quite as big as your total design area, okay? And then I just want to go ahead, let's go to position. I'm going to go to backwards and I'm going to size this to be the size of my tumblers. See when I make it a little larger and a little smaller, I can start to see like the sides and the bottom. All right. So I'm going to center that to page. I'm going to center this to page. And then I'm going to take this image here, go to position backwards. Check it again, make sure everything looks good. It does. So then I'm gonna grab everything and I'm gonna group it together. And now I can go ahead and make it larger. So then from here, I can go to share. Now I can add a watermark, I can add my logo, anything like that. I can just go to share, download, and download it straight from Canva. So again, super easy, just another really great alternative to being able to create these types of mockups and get a 3D look. So is there going to be a huge difference in the two images that we've saved? So back in my downloads folder, let's refresh. So this is the one that I saved from Canva. All right, looking good, looking good. 
And that's the one from Silhouette Studio. So I would say, guys, I think either one is really great. I, I'm not seeing a quality difference. I'm not, I, you know, I will say that if you are already using Silhouette Studio, then, you know, creating your mock-up in Silhouette Studio just makes sense. But just in case you're not using Silhouette Studio or you are just using designs that you're printing straight from Creative Fabrica, you know, that's a-okay too. They don't have to be custom designs. There's nothing wrong with creating these mock-ups and like I said, sending them to your customers, advertising on social media. Like there are just a lot of really great things that you can do once you master how to create mock-ups. Now, if you're wanting more information on creating mock-ups in a more, I must call it traditional mock-ups like for t-shirts, tote bags, maybe coffee mugs, wine glasses, you know, because obviously there are tons of different mock-ups you can make. Those, I already have some really great videos on using those. Okay. But this is a really great way to do it for tumblers and to get that 3D look. And I just knew that this was something I had to share with you guys. And I know you're going to enjoy it too. And like I said, if you missed it, we do have the full tutorial on making the custom tumbler um, with personalized photos as well. So I know this was a lot of information. Hopefully you guys learned a lot today. Hopefully you're inspired to get to crafting for your holiday season. Um, but you know, these are great for year round too. So there's never a wrong time to learn more about making your business better, advertising for yourself and showing off your awesome crafting skills. But for today, guys, let's go ahead and wrap it up. So guys, how did you feel about learning to create those 3D mockups for your sublimation tumblers? Now, I think it's really super easy. I gave you two great options, whether you are a Silhouette user or a Canva user, both are really, really fabulous. And this is such a great way to market your awesome sublimation skills. And you can market and or get approval for orders. Just there's really a lot of great reasons why you want to learn to create mockups. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crappy friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you really awesome videos. So I am going to wrap it up for today, but I appreciate you guys stopping by and we will see you again next time.